Wait, oh no wonder I'm hitting the freaking boss. This guy has a very big click box sometimes. All right, uh, let's try something a little different, man. A raspberry. Raspberry, maybe, for the good luck. Oh my god! Holy shit! Yes! We got a drop, and it's something new. Let's go, man. Inquisitor Helm. Oh, man, I would have loved to get a play body first, because I can't use the helmet right now, bro. One more piece, boys. One more piece. Can we get this play body before the orb? What's gonna happen, bro? What is gonna happen? Woo, baby! Let's freaking go, man. Alright, now we're only four items behind, and now we're four out of eight, minus the pet. Unfortunately, without the Inquisitor body, I actually don't benefit using the Greyhound at the moment, because uh, the Nate is not face guard. Uh, max hit capability is more important than the accuracy. However, once I get the Inquisitor play body in the distant future, I can actually use the set effect alongside the helmet and it'll be better than my Nate on face guard because I will also have the max hit and also a uh, more accuracy bonus. Uh, however, by itself, I think I am going to try to use it for Corp or something in the future because I can use that crush accuracy to, to spec down Corp faster. Alright, this is the back-to-back, -back, of course. We got to fulfill the back-to-back -back dream. Yep. Oh, no bad to bag, but that's okay. My staff went in. Oh my god! No way! No way! Oh my goodness, we got the orb! But it's... Oh, no. Ah, shit. I don't know, man. I'm so conflicted, bro. I'm so conflicted, dude. Oh, that's crazy. We got an orb finally, but... Oh, shit, bro. I was really, really hoping for the harmony, dude. Oh my goodness. But it's finally happened, guys. We finally got our first ever orb to make our first ever stab. So this is the first orb I've ever seen in 1,800 kills. On average, I should have seen about three. But in terms of individual drop chance, based on 700 solos and 1,000 plus five mans, I'm definitely over the rate for at least one orb. So this one is definitely deserved. So as you can see on the screen, these are the five uniques that I've gotten from Nightmare so far. So there's three more uniques, uh, four if you include the pets. But yeah, we have over half of the drops now in the uniques department. Let's go ahead and put this orb into the staff. Here we go. Nice. We got that. Uh, we got the Eldritch Nightmare Staff. Okay, it has a 75% spec, and uh, it's called Invocate. Fire powerful spell that restores your prayer points by 50% of the damage. Dell damage scales based upon magic level and can be increased with magic boosting equipment. Your prayer points can go above your levels to a maximum 120 cost, no runes to use. So it's time to demonstrate what this bad boy can do theoretically. So we're going to start with the, the most basic auto attack. It's going to be the Fire Surge. Now... All of the Nightmare Staffs will share the same auto attack max hit uh, with Fire Surge, so I believe it should be a 49. Very awesome. Okay, now we're going to talk about the special attack. So the special attack is very interesting because it has its own spell. It costs no runes to use, so I can literally just use the staff as is. And uh, the staff special attack will be modified by things like Slur Helmet, uh, other equipment like Ancestral, you know... Occult, the things that modify magic uh, damage, as you can see here. Um, I had a 38%, that's the highest magic percent bonus you can get outside of being on Slayer Task. So, uh, yeah, man, let's uh, show you guys the spec. Alright, so here goes the spec not being on task. So, this is the max hit not being on task. 60. Very nice. So, that means I could heal a 30 prayer uh, up to maximum. Now, we're gonna go with the Slayer uh, helmet. So yeah, we should be seeing some interestingly higher number. 67. So I'd be healing about a 33, 34 prayer. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. The Sarah God Sword can only heal like up to like 16 max on prayer, but this thing can heal like double. So the real question begins, where does one use the Elder Staff in RuneScape, right? So we have a good lead because it's kind of like the SGS, Sarah God Sword. Now this staff is kind of like the opposite. It just heals prayer, a lot of prayer but no HP. So can you just imagine places where you use prayer and you would like to get some prayer back? Really, there's a lot of places, right? Like the biggest general group I would say is Slayer Tasks, right? A lot of Slayer Tasks 
you kind of just go through prayer, right? Sometimes you want to use piety or something. But now you have this elder staff that can recover a lot of prayer. Like I can get like 30 prayer back on a big hit or something, right? So yeah, generally speaking, probably Slayer and some bosses. You know, there's a lot of bosses where you use a lot of prayer. So I'm thinking like Dagonoth Kings, uh, Inferno, um, Armadil. That's just a few right there that I, I can list off. So I'm definitely going to do a bunch of testing with the staff here. So in this video, um, I did get the opportunity to try out a D case and at the Inferno. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys that in a second. All right, guys, let me show you the spec. I'm going to go for uh, a spec real quick. Oh, I just hit a 60. Oh, look at my prayer. Oh my God, boys. Look at, look at my prayer. Holy shit. I healed 30 prayer and uh, it sent my prayer points all the way above 99. Holy shit. That was lit. That's fun, man. I can't wait to try it out in actual bosses, dude. All right. So uh, I just got suggested the biggest spring idea I've ever seen in my life. I could literally use my elder staff for the spec and then I can just swap to my Kodai when I want to barrage because then I can save 15% of runes. And yeah, on, on these particular tasks, it's totally worth to bring both, you know, then, then you can just do that. So the Elder Staff goes really, really well when using magic. So when you do tasks like Barrage tasks, like Necroyals, Dust Devils, you know, Abyssal Demons, and Smoke Devils and all that, it's amazing because you're already wearing very high uh, magic damage percentage, like Occult Necklaces, that you'll be gaining insane amounts of prayer back that, you know, something that you can't see with the SGS. So super, super good for barrage tasks and probably really good for general slayer tasks as most monsters are weak to magic anyways. So the elder staff can just be uh, used for a quick prayer heal, probably even when you're ranging, even when you're mailing. Okay, well, I just finished uh, the dust devil task and I didn't use any prayers. So as you can see, I started with fire prayer pots and I used nothing. I like this guy's name though. His name is GP Printer. Huh. First thing I want to talk about here, DKs. So this Elder Staff, like any Nightmare Staff, it's 15% extra damage with magic spells and it auto casts Ancients as well. So it's really, really good for when I need to heal up outside of just the special DKs. Alright, big spec. Oh, that was a big one. Nice, I healed 20 uh, prayer points from that one. Alright, big heal please. Oh, that was a big heal. What is that shit? Oh, nice. We went above 99. Feels good, man. That was beautiful. Alright, I should be able to start using my preserve because uh, I'm getting a lot more prayer back than usual. Oh, what is that hit? 60? I just healed a 30 prayer. Oh, Archer Spring. Let's go. Hey. So I've actually done two Diagonal Kings tasks so far with the Elder Staff and I'm gonna say it is absolutely perfect at DKs because of the amazing prayer recovery and also that 50% damage boost to make your blood barrage heal even more. It's so freaking nice, man. I'll definitely use this over the SGS any day over here. Holy shit, I actually got a Zugtas. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go and uh, get this Inferno task done. So setup is pretty much the same as what I usually bring except replace the SGS with the Elder Staff. And uh, just to test the limits of the staff, you know, since naturally I should be getting more prayer back, I brought one less restore and more bruise. Can I still spec it? Oh, I can. Sick. Nice. I was still able to spec it after it died. Uh -huh. So I'm at wave 52, and uh, in terms of prayer, I ended up using one folly door shield charge, which is basically uh, 90 prayer points. Um, I did use one restore dose, but that was not for prayer, but that was just emergency brewing because I made a mistake. So, so far, so good. Just uh, playing it pretty normally. So I just finished one Inferno task with Eldest Staff, and I would say my results are a bit inconclusive. First impression is all right, but I feel like I could improve on the strategy because I misjudged how tanky the magic defense of most of these mobs were in the Inferno. So I ended up splashing a little bit with the Elder Staff. So... Yeah, I think if I change my plan to specking on the nibblers, I might have a lot better results. But right now, inconclusive, it's not thing that is uh, beating out the SGS currently, but we'll see next time I do another Inferno test. Okay, this was probably the most undeserved cape ever. So most of these monsters that I'm testing out on are monsters that are still relevant to me because I'm on the pet hunt for those. 
And uh, for this Inferno task, obviously it's for the Nibbler pet, and I somehow didn't get the recording. But yeah, I cashed the cape in, and me no lucky. Alright guys, so this concludes the Nightmare arc. What I mean by this is that my daily Nightmare grind is pretty much donezo, because I've gone a staff, I've gone 5 out of 8 of the unique items now, so yeah, that is go done and exceeded for the most part. It doesn't mean that I'm not doing Nightmare anymore, it just means that we're only going to be doing Nightmare here and there, you know what I mean? It's not going to be like the main goal anymore, which is fine with me since that's, uh, you know, my intentions anyways. But anyways, this month, June, we got some stuff we got to do. Ancestral Recolor Kits just came out. I've been waiting for this uh, update for a while because initially it was in Twisted League polls, but it failed. But now it passed, so it's in the challenge more rates. So I'm going to be working on that to try and complete the Ancestral Kits. There's three of them that I need to get for my Ancestral Pizzas. And also Dark Myers coming out in a few days. So that's crazy. We got some stuff at Dark Myers as well. I'll talk more about Dark Myers stuff when it comes out, of course, you know, uh, when it's official. But yeah, dude, there are lots of things to do this month as well as the main focus. But I hope you guys enjoyed the Nightmare arc though, man. It was uh, another very unique and interesting hell grind, of course, you know, just like that uh, uh, Elf City arc from before. Nice. They had to be really fast on that timing there. Switch to God Sword, switch prayers, go for the spec. Denied. Yes, I got it before the Parasite could heal it. Ah, scrub me! I got you good. Oh, that was so nice. Oh my god. Alright, let, let me just perma buy this shit. Why? It costs 500 tokens though. Screw it, man. I can easily get them back anyways, but... Nice. Master Clue? Ooh, Black D High Body G. Cool. No way, I have three of these? Oh, I need the chaps, bro. I needed the chaps. Yeah, I've been just doing elites because uh, I haven't had time to spend to get like mediums and hards and stuff for masters. But the one in five chance, you know, from the elites is pretty. Nice. I was switching between the disco floors though. That was cool. Sketchy, but works. So you can fish and kill mobs at the same time. So this is a pretty good example. Uh, sometimes you just have to spam click though to make it work, but it'll save some time for sure. Yay, we got another armor C. Let's go. I think I'm now at 16. So we are, uh, uh, we're like five behind. Basically not bad. We're slowly catching up though. Oh, yo, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> we are really catching up on the average again now, dude. Number 17. Yeah, it shouldn't take four. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, really rough start to the day, but I did get my, uh, I don't even know, man. What, what is this? Like 17? 17th crystal armor seed? Or 18th, dude. There it is. All right, how many seeds are we at? We are at 18, actually. Nice. This is kind of dumb though. I need them to fix this counter, dude. Why doesn't it show Corrupted Gauntlet on the completion? Why does it only show regular? And there's nowhere to find it in this collection log. They need to edit that. Jagus, can you do us a favor? Oh god, I'm gonna have to run this disco floor. Never mind, it died. Damn, sub three minutes with the staff. See, sometimes it's good. Oh my god, what is that kill time, bro? 229, dude. Let's go. That's such a fast kill. Jesus. And I made mistakes too. Hey, Armor C, nice. Uh, might be actually at 20 now, or 19. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye bye.